in this video I'm going to be doing a study with me uh, as I have exams coming really soon and when I say soon I say uh, very soon because the exams are just right here I have a few days to prepare for them uh, they are the ones for the term and yeah uh, I know there's lots of you guys uh, that are studying for exams as uh, well their exams right now in December and then there are mocks for those doing GCSEs on January and I'm doing uh, my mocks on March as I'm in year 12 and I do AS. So uh, I hope this video helps you guys uh, to be a bit more motivated to do some studying by your own and yeah I'm just gonna carry you with me so that I have some pressure to do a bit better my, in my studying and to be a bit more concentrated and yeah let's just see how it goes. Thank you for tuning in and let's go into it. So my productive study day starts past 9 a.m. when I get started doing some chemistry. During this time I go through the whole specification of the exam making sure that I'm aware of everything that I'm supposed to know. I use Notion to take some notes and to be able to access uh, different things in the future when I'm revising and I also make some flashcards on Anki so that I'm able to test myself on shorter, uh, more conceptual stuff so that I can test my active recall. So basically, active recall is a way to test your understanding on different topics so that uh, you force yourself to uh, take the content out of your head and that way you're uh, forming strong uh, connections in your brain so that the concepts solidify and uh, consolidate. So this concept is basically uh, based on the fact that you learn best when you take information out of your brain and not into your brain. Because yes, uh, putting things into your brain doesn't mean that you're able to uh, fully learn it. If you're able to um, put it out, to uh, recall it, to uh, test yourself and know that that's the thing, then you really know the subject. So after having said that and talked a bit about uh, Active Recall, uh, well, I finished my Notion and Anki uh, stuff. I went through most of the syllabus. I didn't expect to do it all at uh, once because there are things, you know, that you go and see a thing. I'm gonna look for a YouTube video, for example. So uh, yeah, I didn't finish it all, but you know, that was normal. So then the next thing was to study some physics. And what I did in this case was to do some questions. I used a question paper that uh, my teacher gave us and it was about projectile motion, which is one of the most difficult topics in the AS uh, course. Due to uh, being lots of different questions um, that are not exactly the same, uh, you don't really know where to apply which formula if you don't do many of them. So yeah, I worked a little bit through them so that I can get a bit more of experience with them, uh, solving them. So yeah, uh, that went pretty great and uh, it took some time, but I just finished that and got into marking. So once I finished marking, I got into maths. And in this case, it was uh, pure maths because I have uh, four math subjects. I have uh, stats, uh, pure maths, and then I have further mathematics. And then I have my uh, Spanish mathematics, which you will later on see because I will study a bit of that. Uh, for me, uh, this was kind of relatively easy, you know, because I did this last year in an additional maths course. So I just went through some exercise that I thought would be a little bit challenging and would help me uh, strengthen my knowledge on that topic. So yeah, that went also quite smoothly and I just marked them and uh, continue with my day. So as you saw, I had a very good morning, very productive morning doing some studying. And uh, yeah, I left, uh, I stopped doing maths because um, there was uh, lunch and I had lunch. And then I watched a good uh, Christmas movie, you know, uh, we are almost in Christmas, so it's time for Christmas movies. So yeah, that was the time. And right now it's about 4 p.m. and I'm gonna get back to uh, doing some studying, some work. I'm gonna be doing some math that I didn't do before lunch so that I can catch up with that. And then I will also do some uh, pure maths, but uh, for my Spanish subject, which is another subject I have, uh, which is called Mates Puras in Spanish. So it's just basically maths in Spanish, uh, well, with the Spanish system, which is a bit different. And I'm currently doing everything about matrices, so we'll see how that goes. And yeah, let's go into it.
so I ended up uh, taking a break. Right now it's 5.38 and I'm finally gonna get started with a Spanish math. So let's go. So as you have seen, I have just finished my Spanish maths and uh, yeah, I've done some exercises and practice a bit because I have the exam on uh, Wednesday, which is uh, two days from now. So uh, yeah, I think it's going great. I'm doing fine. I have done lots of good work today and I'm excited about that. I have more or less studied today about seven hours, which is kind of great. I don't usually do as much. Uh, but today was a productive day, um, needed because the exams are coming very soon. And yeah, uh, we were able to do some chemistry at the morning, uh, some physics at the morning as well. Then I did some uh, maths, pure maths. And then I also did uh, some Spanish maths. So yeah, I consider this day as very productive. It was very, very useful. I hope you were entertained and that you were motivated to do your own studying and to prepare for your own exams. So yeah, uh, right now I may probably uh, continue doing some stuff but not related to school. I might uh, continue with the script I'm working on for a skillshare course that I might uh, upload soon about Notion. So you may be interested in that. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get some more work in. And if you like this video, uh, hit the thumbs up. Uh, let me know if you like these type of videos because this is kind of new type of videos in my channel. So let me know that. And yeah, if you want to subscribe to this channel, I would really appreciate that. And I am very honored that you have been here with me going through the day and through the studying. So yeah, if you've liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you could consider subscribing uh, to the channel. We are slowly growing, but you know, uh, we don't have any rush and uh, I'm having fun doing this. And I hope you're also having fun watching this. So yeah, I hope you're the best guys and see you in the next one.